week one of my 5k training plan and this is what the week is going to be. Hi guys, welcome to week one of my 5k training plan. This is where I'm aiming for that sub 25k and also aiming for that new PB of uh, faster than 90 minutes 54 seconds. What I'm going to be doing each week is do one video at the beginning of the week, like this one, which is going to run through what my training program is for the week. And then we'll do a video at the end of the week to show you how it went and whether we actually hit our goals for the week. Now, just a couple of caveats. The uh, training plan I've chosen is an ad intermediate plan, which assumes you can go faster than 24 minutes on a 5K to begin with, okay? So we're not starting from scratch. This is not a beginner's uh, guide to running a 5K. This is for somebody who's quite competent and can actually run that 5k in a sub 24 where you're just pushing yourself just to get a little bit better okay so that's where we stand i'll tell you which training plan we use at the end of the course as i always say about training plans they're not set in stone you can move them and change the runs around during the week i'm going to try and stick to this plan as it is laid down so do the runs on the days it actually says but i am going to change one thing but i'll tell you about that later on so i'm out it's sunday I am out on a long run, I'm going to get that finished and then I'll go back into the studio and I'll run through what this first week of the training plan is going to be. So stay tuned, we're going to get right into it in just a second. Welcome back, we've done the run, we're in the studio, so let's go through this first week of the training plan. Now, as with all plans, the first three, four, five weeks are generally base building, and that's where we're going with this. We're gonna start off with the base building. So this first week is going to be rather easy going, shall we say. Now, as I said earlier on, this is an intermediate plan, and it's looking at somebody who can run a 24, sub 24 minute 5K to start with. So as I said earlier on, and I'm just reiterating now, this isn't a beginner's plan. Now I am going to do it verbatim, but I did mention I'm changing one thing, and that thing is the rest day. I always do my long run on a Sunday, and I, I have always taken Monday as my rest day. And that's what I'm going to continue doing. The Monday is the rest day. Now in the plan, it generally has the Tuesday as a rest day. So I'm going to be changing the Tuesday and the Monday round, if that's okay with you. Just, that's the way it's always been. And it also fits in with my lifestyle and my working pattern. So Monday is going to be a nice, easy rest day. So the rest of the week, how's that going to be? Tuesday, according to the plan, is going to be a five mile run, a nice easy run. And the pace I'll be looking at is somewhere between seven minute 50 seconds and eight minute 45 seconds. So that's the pace range for this sub 20 minute target. So it's a nice easy run, five miles on Tuesday. Uh, at that easy pace and we're going to throw in four times 20 minute strides at the end and no just to loosen up and just to get uh, some speed into those legs so moving into wednesday we're going to keep it at that five miles but this time we're going to mix it up a bit we're going to do two miles easy at that 8.45 pace. Then we're going to do two miles at a tempo pace, which is going to be slightly quicker, which is going to be roughly around about that six minutes, 50 seconds pace. So something a little bit more challenging, something where you've got to put a little bit more effort in, and then we're going to finish off with another mile easy. So that tempo pace isn't quite my current 5K pace, just a little bit off that pace if you see what i mean so we're going to be two miles easy then we're going to put a bit of effort in for two miles and then we're going to take it easy at the end thursday is going to be a medium intensity day again we're going to be doing four miles at that easy pace but hopefully if i can get my timings right we're going to get about 30 minutes strength and conditioning work in as well so uh not just running but doing some of those stretches and exercises at home uh, just to help with the strength and conditioning you know to help build up the core strength build up the muscles around the core there after three days of running we're moving into friday we're going to take friday as a rest day saturday is easy running again looking at that 8 45 pace for about five miles and then on Sunday we're going to be doing a seven miles easy pace as well so as you can see that first week where we're going to be doing about 26 miles in the week is going to be at that easy pace now the problem I've got going forward for this particular week is on Saturday I'm going to be traveling to London and on Sunday I've got a flight I'm flying out from Heathrow 
and I'll tell you where in another video. Okay, so I've got those runs to do and I've got to get those in whilst also traveling across the country. Should be interesting. So that's my week ahead. So it's gonna be an exciting week for me. Join me if you can. Don't forget to hit subscribe now. Turn on the bell notifications so you find out every time I upload new reading videos. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, give us a like, that would help the channel grow immensely. If you are going to be running along with this plan, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to help this channel grow even more, please consider becoming a channel member, become part of that support crew. Would love to see you in the members area. All that said, I'm looking forward to this week, so please join me on this journey as I head towards that sub-20 park run. Meanwhile, you can catch up while we're my marathon running. I did a video recently on the Chicago Marathon, and you can watch it here now.